Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for gathering here today. I'd now like to present to you a brand new groundbreaking technology for tires that may change the scenery of our community. Tire companies are continuously working on improving the features that are demanded in tires by using a tremendous amount of resources. Now what I was thinking was, other than those primary features of a tire, what else do consumers want? After thorough analysis, we came to the conclusion that it's tires designed with full color. Tires are usually thought of to be black. But if you look back on the history of tires, you will find out that they in fact have not always been black. As you can see in this picture of a 1910 model T Ford, the tires are white. Pneumatic tires were invented in 1888, but rubber reinforced with carbon black wasn't put to practical use for another 24 years. So until 1912, tires were not black. In terms of fashion, tires with white stripes and white letters on the side are often used, especially in the United States. You can tell from the outside, but on the inside, to sustain the tire's strength while using white letters and stripes, a great amount of white rubber is used. As a result, the tire becomes heavy, fuel inefficient, and it costs more. So what we wish to achieve was to be able to create colorful tires without sacrificing the essential features tires already have, so in other words, without changing the inner structure as much as possible. Well, here it is. Please take a look at our newest tire born from this concept. This new feature we would like to propose to you is the technology to print color on the side of tires. There have always been requests for colorful tires. There have also been exhibits of colored tires at auto shows for a few decades. However, most of those tires either use stickers or painted color directly on black tires. But other than auto shows, those tires cannot endure everyday use on normal public roads. Our printing technology that can actually be put to practical use is nearly finished, so I'd like to present it to you here today. Why has this kind of technology never been brought up before now? I will walk you through all the technological issues that came about and how we tackled each one. First off, in the surface of tires, chemicals called antioxidants are branded into the rubber to make them last long. One of the properties of this chemical is that it discards the surface it touches. You may have experienced this when you left something made of black rubber on the table for a while and later found that the part of the table had turned brown. The same thing happens when you print on the surface of a tire. This picture shows how white ink printed onto a tire turns brown. Secondary, when a tire rotates, the surface rapidly stretches and contracts repeatedly. So what do you think happens to ink printed on rubber that stretches out over and over again? This picture shows a tire right after printing white ink on it. But try driving around using this tire and this happens. As you can see, the ink cracks, crumbles, and eventually falls off. Ink printed on the surface has to go through and bear different environments with temperatures from freezing cold to scorching hot. Humidity, direct sunlight with UV rays that face color, ozone in the air, and also like I mentioned earlier, the discoloration from the chemicals and constant bending of the surface. To tackle these issues, we came up with a structure for printing made up of three layers. A layer that prevents chemicals from seeping through. A layer of ink we've developed that can endure the stretch of the tire but at the same time not lose its adhesive strength. And lastly, a protective layer that can reduce damage to the ink from UV rays, ozone, and trauma. So tires color printed with our technologies are just what customers who want to drive with fashion need. Not only does it look stylish at first glance, 
But using this technology, we expect there will be many business opportunities that come with it. Customizing service. In this design, we printed a picture from our company's annual children's eco-art contest. Like this, we can print onto the tire pictures that customers designed themselves or took with their own cameras. Universal design. Giving function or meaning to the design itself, like for instance, a design that reflects lights at an intersection at night, or one that you can instantly tell if there is any damage to the tire just by looking at it. Commercial design. How about printing on a corporate advertisement and turning a car into a moving billboard? The company advertising can cover the cost for printing and lighten the load for customers that buy it. This could be a completely new tire business that has never been done before. Repainting service. Why not put the features of printing to good use? If the design you are currently using gets a little dirty, or you are simply bored with it, just wash off the ink and print on a new one. To actually start printing on mass-produced items, there is need for a little more time to perfect our technology, so I will refrain from announcing when and on what product we will start printing. In the long history of tires, they started off white, then became black, and hadn't changed for 100 years. But now we are about to start off the next generation of tires with full color. Picture the future where cars everywhere are running on colorful tires. This is the very picture that Bridgestone proposes to you. I'd like for you to look forward to a future lineup of products to come. Thank you very much for listening. Mr. Anunciato, Mr. Kawai. Now uh, I would invite the attendees of the press conference to join us for some refreshments. Uh, press packs will be available here at my right hand side. Um, let's further discuss here on the booth if you like. Thank you for your attendance and have a nice afternoon here in Geneva. Thank you.